Gonna be 10 seconds remaining, Nigma. What are you going to pick? It's gonna be a Centaur War Runner. Over the other, it all comes down to skill, I think. GH is looking a bit unhealthy there. Have to commit the healing cell. Meanwhile, Kuroki getting lower and lower. Could they potentially get the kill? The Hellbear Smasher actually helping. Wow. New the Galaxy there. To save Kuroki and slow down the Centaur. Looks like they bribed Lane. Even if you have one hero that's quite inactive. I mean, you've got two heroes here that punish on the lane. And add those together. Equals death. Oh, but a kill there. Upon the river, some mail. back in. How the last hits? I mean, pretty similar last hits, to be honest. On the mid lane. And more action happening on top. A hoof stomp there onto two. Will they take down Kuroki? Yes, they will. It's the acorn shot. Bouncing between the two of them, though Ari might be found here by the Maledict. Never mind. The critical strike there from CK. Cobbly space here right now for Tomato. Just activating that flat cannon there. Although Seb, uh-oh, he's being caught in the cards. Will be found there, Cogs and Firestorm. Better watch out for that combination. Be knocked back and forth like a ping pong ball trapped in a box. So now Ari may also be found here too. No abilities remaining. Oh, another critical strike there from Miracle. The RNG blesses upon him. Finding the kill there onto the squirrel a second time. Meanwhile though on the bottom lane, look at this, this action happening top and bottom. Getting the kill there onto GH. The mana pool, though. Oh, BZM. This is a little bit of an aggressive play here. Is he wanting to go for the Wisdom Rune? He's zipping in. Will he get it? He will not get it. He's quite low mana. This is a little bit dangerous. No mana remaining. He has no charges on his bottle. This could just be in his death. I think he's just suicided this. It will look like he has indeed. This was a miscalculation on BZM's part. And FBZ will get the kill. They he will not deny himself there to the Ancients. Meanwhile, though, on the top lane with the rotation from Seb, we do indeed get the kill there onto Kuroki. Now, because we have ourselves the Phantasm, we can activate that now and start to farm around with it having such a low cooldown. Compared to what it used to be, of course. And that was like 200 seconds. Oh, that's a bit of a misplay there from Ari. Nonetheless, they are going to still try and attempt to find something here. They will get themselves Kuroki. Meanwhile, Searing Chain there. Onto BZM, he's not able to pounce away and get over the cogs! Oh dear! Another miscalculation from BZM! So now some mail. Wanted to try and man fight there, Seb. On BZM here too. Sit there. To FBZ with the break. From the ulti of the Hoodwing, they find one kill. In return though, Seb falls. With him being on his own too. So just near their triangle. Hunting for a kill. Level 2 Searing Chains ready. So Mail looking to put more points into the Searing Chains. And not fully level the Flame Guard. Going to get around. They see the TP. It's going to be a 3 on 3 situation. Maybe that smoke's broken. Will he be able to get the Searing Chains? Yes he will. Along with the hoop shot there too. It connects onto 2. With Miracle coming in. Can he find the kill onto BZM? Yes he can. Along with Ari there too. They lose two here on OG. They're going to try and attempt to turn it around to take down Rookie. They will do so there indeed. With back to the cooldown there also, but another saving chains. And ending on to two. They got themselves the Chaos Bot along with the Pit of Malice there too. Tomato getting lower and lower. Pulled back into the Pit of Malice there with the Reality Rift. And it's a double kill there for Miracle. They want to try and get themselves more. So Mail, he has himself the Slice of Fist. There it is. Killing spree for him. They lose four on OG. Doing very well here on to Nigma Galaxy. Just, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just seeing that Miracle has indeed finished that Orchid now. So meanwhile, they're coming in for a gank here onto Kuroki, who's on his own in the jungle. And that sharpshooter getting in the kill. Meanwhile, amplified damage rune activated here by some male. Maybe perhaps wanted to go for the kill onto Seb. He's on his own within this cliff. And they just find an easy kill there as Seb sacrifices his life in order for Whisper to get away there on the centaur. So drawing the attention there, but I might go for more here. 
Tomb Trees. They're going to come in with a hook shot. They're actually going to try for something here. With this Spirit Fest on him, the Stampede comes down. It's not going to help him at all. You're stuck in the cogs with a Pit of Malice there. That is the ultimate lockdown. Even with Stampede, you are not getting out of that one, sir. Kit. You can definitely understand the BKB with how much catch and disable they have at the moment. Usually the case is a CK. They're leveled. Will they meet? Oh, they do indeed meet. Uh-oh, he's been found out. Does have the Stampede ready. In comes the Pit Lord. Ready with a Pit of Malice to silence there as well. And the kill will go to GH. He's on a dominating spree. Meanwhile, they did commit an Orchid there onto Samael, but he is completely fine. And with the Malady and the Death yeah, having to sit out of there and get back. So meanwhile, they do indeed find the kill there on the GH, but Tomato could trade his life for this. He's trying to get away as fast as he can. Look at that movement speed. He is gone out of there. Get back in. Who stopped there? Onto Kuroki. Caught alone. A little bit out of position. And they have themselves some excellent vision here. As you can see, we've seen Centaur here with this Observer Ward. They're going to commit the Phantasm. He's got the Orchid ready. They could easily jump onto Whisper and get an easy kill here. There's the Orchid. But, oh no, the tree line is messing up his pathing. He's not able to get the hits out. Whisper is trying to survive through it all, but the rest of the team will come into help. Miracle. And there we go. No help for Whisper. But a little bit unfortunate there for Miracle. Not able to get the hit in the tree line with all the illusions. With thanks to this smoke, top is they do attack. see the Hoodwink, though. Of course, with this Observer Ward over here, they want to go for the Hoodwink. Hoodwink's on her own. There we go. They've got the silence. Easy kill there onto Ari. Miracle, he gets it. They've already used the Hit of Malice on that tier 2 tower. Find a kill here miracle. That's a lovely cooldown. Look at that. All, all the damage there. That was hard to see. Now they're going to try and attempt to get the kill. They will be able to do so indeed. They need to rotate and come back and help Miracle. Will they go on the aggressive here on Nigma Galaxy? It doesn't look like it. They'll just get back. So save those items. It could be a different story with this upcoming fight. I mean, they found themselves BZM. He's going to zip away. Oh, the Rocket Flare scouting out BZM. Will they get themselves a hook shot? Trying to scout out. Oh, they find it there. Onto the centaur. He's caught within the cogs. Meanwhile, Ari has been found in the trees and is just decimated there by the Phantasm coming out from Miracle. So they will find themselves one kill. The Echo stop. Landing onto two. The Stampede will be used there defensively. They'll get themselves out. Phantasm. Now. Oh, an FBZ. Rotating in for BZM again. He's just pushing out the lanes. So was Tomato. But they're going to go for it straight away here. Miracle coming in. GH able to jetpack away. And the hook shot comes back in. Canceling that TP there. He will sacrifice his life for this to cancel that TP. Tomato attempting to get away. Meanwhile, on the mid lane, though, they have found themselves a male who tried to get a kill there onto Seb. He was successful. However, that will cost his life, along with Kuroki's there, too. So departed left and right here. As OG, they are the ones that come out on top once again. Further pushing this game in their favor. That to gets himself a Daedalus and a Satanic against the CK. Because right now, he doesn't have himself any armor. Only that armor. Because meanwhile, a Zip coming in there. They've actually caught themselves FBZ underneath this tier 2 tower. The silence is there. He's trying to get away with the Ogre Seal totem, but it won't be enough. Whisper there helping with the double edge. They get themselves another kill, but Miracle coming in. He has himself a chaos, <laughs> the chaos bolt. It does reflect back upon him, but it will be enough nonetheless. Doesn't need to land a critical strike there on the centaur, as we discussed. In groups up. As five hit. Looking around for a kill here, OG. They know they want to set up here for the Roshan. This is a fight for the Roshan. That smoke there is going to break for Roshan coming in with the death ward. 
Now they pulled themselves. GHH is actually able to get out the box there. Let's look at this. They are able to find the kill there. On to Seb, but Tomato's just healing up there. Kuroki's gonna fall. This flat cannon dealing the damage there, but they're actually able to survive for it all. And they're gonna try and attempt to turn it around now. Miracle trying to find something there. He got himself the reality rift. The chaos bolt slowly traveling there. Will connect there onto Tomato. Support within the cogs. Some trouble there. The Satanic on cooldown. And he will be found here. So no one. Well, actually, one person will be lost there. He just pulled back ever so quickly. And the centaur is taken out there as well, near the twin gates by some male. That's for sure. I'm trying to pressure this tier 3 part. I mean, 30 seconds. Or is that meanwhile, though? Some male. Trying to find Ari and BZM here, calling the cogs there by GH. They find themselves two kills here, top. Which means. Free raid for Nigma Galaxy to take this bottom set of racks with further two heroes being down on their side. And there we go. A set of racks is gone. Feeling confident all grouped up. I mean, FBZ completely fine to rotate into the fight here with the Fiend's Gate. Well, meanwhile, though, all oh, their attempts to go on to a kill down to Brookie straight away, but he has himself. That Aeon Distance still with a zip zap in from the storm. He activates the BKB. BCM is out there. They get themselves the kill there onto Kuroki. Tomato now trying to get away. Lovely shot there from GH. But able to still survive here onto Tomato with the Satanic. And they haven't lost anyone here yet on OG. BKB still available for the Gyrocopter. So I think they still want to try and find something. Oh, the Lancer Vortex on the free there with BCM and a boost up. Oh, and a box whack! Oh, turned it around! Triple kill there for Ari! As now they'll try and find some mail. He's got himself an invisibility rune. He has revealed himself. He's going to chain three there with the searing chains. He will get himself back, but that was chef's kiss there. From the hands of BZM. Farming up that Agnims. That is indeed what they wanted. That was beautiful. Committee KCK, not one to really want to build an MKB here. I mean, Bloodthorn able to pierce evasion here. Well, actually, GH might actually find a kill onto Zip it. Silence there onto GH. He's on his own. Not able to find the kill there onto Ari. He would not have the Elder Titan to be with him. There's a TP from BZM here. He does not. The BZM coming in with the Zip Zap. Not able to find anything there. Tomato coming in. BZM zipping forward. He wants to try and find more, but the Searing Chains locking in place. Tomato, so not able to further pursue. This age is now expiring for Enigma Galaxy. So, do they still want to hang around? I mean, that is a very aggressive remnant there. The BKB will be activated along with the Stampede there, too. Pit of Malice. It connects onto two. The BKB still available here for BZM. They come in with a Pit of Malice, and BZM is out of there. Zipping away. BKB now for Tomato. Healing up there with a Satanic Hoot Shot, though, into the back lines. It's caught themselves, too, within the cogs. Do they have any follow up damage? Because GH is getting lower and lower, but they turn it around there with Reality Rift from Mirror. With the Phantasm taking down Tomato, now trying to find the Centaur. Will be able to get that double kill for him. They will only lose GH here on Nigma Galaxy, and that will be a very beneficial for them there. What a chain of events that was. Samael being very aggressive there, forcing out the Stampede. Is now actually BZM activating his BKB now to defend against the Chaos Knight. Wants to try and find the kill there onto Seb. He's actually been able to get off the Chaos Bomb there. But oh, ho, ho, the Spirit able to get himself the debuff immunity. But that will not save him. As the Pit of Malice placed down there from FBZ claiming the life of the Elder Titan. And with that, six slotted here at the moment for Miracle. And a Daedalus on Ari. Well, I mean, okay. Pretty, uh... Powerful support at the moment that they have here. Miracle. Oh, the blood form there. The plant to it as well. They've got the electric vortex there. Onto the CK. A lot of the hoops come there too. They've got the damage. Maybe perhaps they can try and take down Miracle. They will! With the Earth Splitter! They take down Miracle. Meanwhile, though, they will find Ari into the back lines here. So Mill trying to find more. Attempting to try and take down Seb here. But the silence is there. They're able to try and take down some Mill. They will find him! Oh no, that is not good here for Enigma Galaxy. It's OG. 
they're the ones that come out on top of this fight. But I think they're just waiting it out here on Nygma Galaxy. I'd say that's the safest bet. They don't want to try and engage in a fight right now with OG, especially with this Aegis. It'd be the best course to just let it expire. Though they have found themselves Ari. Silence is there. And they get the kill onto the Skrill. Have we got anything interesting here on BZM? Uh, just finishing off the Kaya there with a crown, just getting himself some extra stats to get the Meteor Hammer. Wow, well, those some ale. If you want to fight this on Nigma Galaxy, I mean, Age is still in the hands of Tomato, but it is a 4v5 situation. And you can't possibly set up for a kill onto the Gyro if you're able to burst him down massively. That, they do a try and attempt to get a kill down to BZM. He's going to actually zip back in here and attempt to try and find the CK. Oh, and they do a lot with FPZ there with the flat cannon. They take down two there in a 4v5 situation. As now they'll attempt to maybe perhaps try and find some more. The hoof stomp will not come in to stop that TP. Kuroki, though, his TP will be cancelled there by the echo stomp there from Seb. And Kuroki, his death is certain. He will be found. The side gunner gets the kill there. With that fight slowly climbing up in the favor here of OG, it hasn't been higher than this. 72% on their side currently at the moment. Smail. Oh, he's been scouted out here. The Hex is there. Oh, this could be big. Along with the Hoofstop there too. Will he survive? No, he will not. The Air Splitter helps to get him again. The Ember Spirit down for 90 seconds along with GH2. Kuroki will be found here by BZM. There we go. They've lost three. The buyback there from GH. They want to try and find more BZM. He has himself the Electric Vortex catching in there too. Can they get some more follow-up damage? Attempting to turn it around now with the Phantasm. But the Illusion to just be taken out there by the Flat Cannon from Tomodo. Completely decimated those Chaos Knight illusions. Even with that facet, the Phantasmagoria, whatever the hell he's called, that gives the strong illusions. No Phantasm. They're in trouble here on Nigma Galaxy. Oh, meanwhile, though, GH coming in with a hook shot. No, they're not able to follow up with it there. BTM will just be able to zip out. Meanwhile, the Death Ward coming in. That's a lot of damage being dealt there to Whisper. Whisper going to fall down for 90 seconds. Attempting now to try and take down tomorrow but they've got themselves Electric Vortex there onto two. Over the flat cannon there. Attempting to turn it around. BZM is going to be found. Maybe Razzle along with Miracle 2. He's trying to heal up there with the crit, but he will be found. The buyback both from BZM and Miracle wanting to try and join back to the fight as they want to take down Ari and Tomato. They're both attempting to flee here. GH hot on his heels there with the jetpack. Hootshot comes in. He's caught him in the cogs. Where's the follow-up damage here from the side of Nigma Galaxy's Electric Vortex coming out again. They'll attempt to maybe perhaps turn it around. Satanic coming off cooldown in three more seconds. They could potentially turn it around here on OG as they do with the Hex. Miracle dead. Miracle is gone. But in comes Samil now coming in with the Slight of Fist. Kuroki is dead. It's two down. Only three remaining. Maybe perhaps only two remaining as GH found there by BZM. Yes, only FBZ and Samail, who was actually able to find the kill there onto Tomato. I think that was the Maledict. As Ari doesn't have himself any mana, has the BKB, but he doesn't have himself a TP. He's just going to be hit into here. The BZM no mana either, but I think he can just get the kill. Yet yeah, with the Electric Vortex there, that is the Underlord gone. Meanwhile, though, look at the base. Taking that tier four tower, taking a second one here with the catapults. Ari is going to have to TP in and deal with this there with the acorn shot. We'll be able to fine with the. I don't really think he can do anything at this point. I mean, BKB off cooldown in five more seconds. The first person to come back will indeed be Kuroki, and they don't have themselves a glyph. This may look to be GG here. So, Mail, he needs to do something now. He's going to activate that BKB there, try and push away BZM. He will be able to get him back. The Earth Splitter there, not dealing a lot of damage there to Samil. He's going to activate the Yules there. Uh oh, oh, oh no, he's been hexed up. He will be found, taken out, down for two minutes. Looks to be GG here, folks, is game one. Still not going yet, no, no. OG, BZM coming in. He's going to use a refresher to get himself a second BZM habit. 
The Witch Doctor back in 10 seconds. Yeah, it looks like they've got this. Yeah, there we go. GG is called, folks. Game one. Going to be going to OG here. It was back and forth, back and forth. Illusions being completely decimated by the Flat Cannon with the Daedalus. And they, this Satanic helping out perfectly. Along with the Agnims here from BZM with this Electric Vortex. I've got to give the MVP here to him with these Electric Vortex. Setting up for absolutely beautiful stuff. And he, he did it in some vision where he had none at all.